Star Citizen Alpha 3.18.2 just went live right now, just a few minutes ago. We're just going to go straight into it. This patch comes with a wipe as they did announce earlier. Along with this, they're starting everybody off with 200,000 AUEC. With this, there are a few known issues and uh, we're just going to go straight into that. All shops missing sales inventory for players who purchased the Kruger Merlin um, from Astro Armada. Game client may close without error or crash handler. ASAP terminals are unusable and fade to black when accessed. Equip more than five components in a single save and equip. VMA transaction will fail. In Xeno Threat and Jump Town, players cannot sell all quantities of Zetoponolade or Maze from their ship for dynamic events. Selling smaller quantities at a time should work. Ships can explode from collision with invisible asteroids. The trams are out of sync with station timers, causing trams to overlap or not appear on time. Elevators and trams are jittery during transit of player character. When flying near another ship, ship seems to hit an invisible box that kicks it in a random direction. Cargo may be invisible in multiple ships after being purchased. When attempted to start a refinery job, players receive the following errors. Something went wrong. Error code 20. Security contract evaluation is not re-offered upon failure. Combat service beacon progress rating inconsistent on missions. Security work assessment remaining hostile NPCs not spawning in. PTV wheels at the Orison BTR area can clip into geometry and become detached from vehicle. The snub fighter attached to the constellation lacks interaction prompts to enter it making it unusable. Some ship wreckage erroneously give no material text and do not let you salvage. Markers will randomly disappear after quantum travel with no route set. So that is the known issues. Before we move forward, I'd like to let the new people know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of April. This time is the Grey Cat STV. In order to participate, all you got to do is subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of April. All right, so let's move on. So when it comes to the features, they mention um, Cortex. It says updated density manager values to be more aggressive or removing unneeded entities in the PU to improve server and client performance. Made further entitlement processing improvements and updated the login queue time display. So when it comes to the bug fixes, there is a lot of bug fixes with this patch. It says here, fix multiple areas of prison escape routes where players could not vault out of. Ships should no longer sometimes be claimed at another location other than terminals it's being claimed on. AI victim names should now display correctly in the crime committed against name field. Two extra Odyssey 2 Alpha suits should no longer appear in player's inventory. Movement of player head should now be smooth with track IR. Fix frequent pockets of extremely low client FPS performance in landing zones and ships. Fix trees spawning inside of rivers. New deal and vantage rental kiosks should no longer be missing. Fugitive recovery mission should no longer result in a crime stat of the bounty hunter. Additional FPS AI that don't count for missions should no longer spawn in during the eliminate all slash caterpillar casualties mission. Spawning ships will no longer cause the requested ship to spawn outside of the hangar. The reclaimer main on elevated control panel should now fully respond to input. Salvage lasers should now fully provide RMC when scraping a full haul. Entering or exiting a sea in the vulture should no longer cause salvage beams to become desynced from their display settings. The Antares QED should no longer have low health and is easily knocked out when shields are down. Players in a given instance should no longer experience a response latency of up to dozens of seconds for interaction. Fix the lootable container slots containing no loot when they are streamed out and back in at SPK. Melting and upgrading a ship while the player is bedlogged in that ship should no longer put the player in a bad state. Error code 30,018 can't log in. Fix the visit Oris and commercial freezing and locking of clients. Loot boxes should no longer become unavailable to other players when a user crashes while interacting with it. 
Fixed is that opponent lays salvage claim not spawn in all the cargo boxes for players to retrieve. Combat assisted missions should now correctly progress after enemy ship has been destroyed. Fixed an issue causing players to be unable to scan mining deposits. New deal advantage kiosks should no longer be missing in Loreville. Fixed non-owner players being able to log out in the prisoner's seat of the hawk causing it to not retrieve correctly after an insurance claim. Fixed the spawn rate of salvage entities are duplicated and subsequently higher than intended. Players should no longer be injured or bleeding out if the cockpit seat animations are clipped. Rented ships will no longer disappear from the ASOP terminal when claimed. Fix the failed negotiation, disable gravity prompt being unresponsive. Delivery missions should no longer show objective withdrawn upon reaching mission location. Players should now correctly be able to save changes to their ship loadout. In addition to this, there have been 10 client crashes, 9 server crashes, and a server deadlock. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, I'll see you on the next video.